In this video, we're going to use the bubble sort algorithm to sort these five numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, into ascending order. Now, of course, I already know they're in ascending order. The whole point of this video is to show you how quick bubble sort can actually be. So, 1 and 2 get compared. So, 1 is smaller than 2. Then 2 and 3 get compared. 2 is smaller than 3. 3 and 4 get compared. 3 is smaller than 4. 4 and 5 get compared. 4 is smaller than 5. So, 5 gets bubbled to the top. But, of course, because we had no swaps, we're done. So, actually, there's only one pass, and we made four comparisons. OK? Now, because of that, um, the number of comparisons that you'll get uh, if the list of numbers are in perfect uh, ascending order will always be n minus 1. So the total number of comparisons will be n take away 1. In this case, it was 5 take away 1, which is 4. Okay, But if you had 100 numbers already in ascending order and used the bubble sort, it would take... 99 comparisons. Okay, so that means that the total number of comparisons being n minus 1, that is order of n. So the best case scenario for um, bubble sort is if the numbers are already in the correct order. For quick sort, it wasn't too good. Um, in fact, it was worst case scenario for quick sort. But for bubble sort, it's the best case scenario. And the algorithm has order of complexity of just n, so linear complexity in that case.